Hey guys, Just a Guy here with another uh, tips and tricks video. And today, as you can see, we're talking about bees, the newest uh, 1.15 snapshot. It's like 1934A or whatever. Uh, as you can see, though, as everybody's talking about bees, I'm not sure what the point of them are right now. I mean, making honey gives you sugar and a decent food, but it doesn't stack because they're bottles. And maybe you can get some blocks out of it eventually. Killing bees. Just gives you experience points and nothing else. I do take 10 hits with a fist, so. So I have 5 hit points. Um, they don't drop any honey or bee wax or wings or anything special. Uh, if you hit one, all the other ones around you will get angry uh, and sting you. It'll poison you and they'll lose their stinger. And then that's pretty much it. They'll die like 20 seconds later. They get one shot. And you basically can't die from poison. But they do a half a heart of damage. So you can die from the stinger attack like right here. Once you get down to the half a heart. And all these bees are out of here because I got... Oh, and they stay angry at you. Even after you die and respawn. So they're a lot like zombie pigmen. Uh, I guess after they sting you, if they don't, they only react to the initial hit though. Like if you get a bee angry at you and then you go somewhere else, they don't seem to uh, matter. Like the next bees, but as you can see inside here, um, I have a little farm. It's just basically a villager farm, and then I put some flowers in strategic spots around the area. I'm not exactly sure about the best placement. Because they'll go to the flowers, and then as they leave with the pollen on them, like you can see on this guy, plants he hovers over will get like a little um, bone meal effect sometimes. It doesn't seem to be every single time, or it doesn't seem like the hitbox counts. Uh, but they'll do it, and I'll make plants grow. I'm not sure if it's entirely worth it, because villagers can't really keep up with their crops anyway. But even without resulting into redstone, it does it. The funny thing is, is bees are supposed to be sleeping at night. But as you can see, it's nighttime. The villagers are asleep, but all the bees are still working. I thought maybe it was just because I didn't have enough beehives. These little blocks right here that you can make. Um, but I put a bunch down and they're still working through the night. So they're busy as a bee. Um... You also have the naturally occurring beehives, right? Bees nest, rather. And they're basically functionally the same. I'm not so sure. I haven't seen any honey form after all these bees coming in. I think when they do the bone meal effect, they might not produce as much honey. I don't know. But, um... So they help crops grow. But it seems to be only... Uh, crops that a farmer would plant. I have this little dark room so the trees won't grow on their own. And uh, they're not making oak trees or anything grow, as you can see. And they also go to the flowers and back for pollen without a beehive. So you might not even need one if you don't want honey. Because they, they'll pollinate something like up to 10 flowers and then they'll lose their pollen effect. And then I guess they can go get more. Um, I have noticed the AI of bees die. Like, these bees are still here. They're in the voidish area, but they're not in the void. And if you punch them, they move for a second or two and then stop again. So, I don't know what's up with these. It's like their pathfinding to get to their hives failed them, and then they just hover their dead. It's kind of weird. But yeah, so these bees won't um, pollinate, you know, oak trees or anything. And the other thing I noticed is bees' hitboxes are kind of weird. Um, parts of their body kind of sticks out of it, their wings and their horns. And I've noticed quite a few bees dying as they fly near the ceiling. They start taking suffocation damage. So if you don't uh, have your ceilings made out of a transparent block like glass, you might lose bees. So that's just a thing. But yeah, that's 
basically all there is to bees really i mean i'm not going to go into all the how to make honey out of the hives and stuff everybody's done that i'm just mostly curious on if they would really help a generic farm and the answer is probably yes i don't think you even need the hives per se from what i've seen unless you want the honey um but like i said i'm not sure if it's worth it because as you can see the villagers are really lazy they only work like four hours a day and they don't even work that hard. He barely harvests his carrots as is. But yeah guys, this is just the initial snapshot of bees. Um, This is my initial take on it all. I think they're going to be kind of cool, but I just... Oh, there you go. Finally you can see some of the little glowy effects. I just uh, don't know if they're going to be all that useful because you need... The honey level to get to level 5. And I'm not sure if any of these are level 5. They don't look it. No. I mean, I've, I've been here maybe half an hour, an hour. And they've been working night and day. And none of these have honey. But, um... And then one honey bottle... You also get honeycomb if you click bet with shears. And you can do that with dispensers now, but. So if you eat this, you get three things of hunger and a full saturation, which is really, really good. But they don't stack, and it seems to take absolutely forever to get honey. I mean, I don't know if it's because I have so many beehives in this one area that they're going to every different one. But it just seems super slow to be a real way of food eating food but like I said I just hope that the honeycombs and all that do something uh, currently honey is only good for making sugar uh, I don't know. yeah if you take one bottle of honey oops the crafting table you'll get three sugar which I mean who needs sugar that much you can get for sugar cane and everything else that's easily farmable and they stack um, and then the honeycombs oops these look at your recipe book Show craftable thunder. I don't have any wood. Takes uh, six planks and three honeycomb. And you get something like two to six honeycomb per hive when you right click on with some shears. Here we go. So, what's it under? food blocks that's the only thing you can do with it so far you can make more beehives which is just sort of a man-made hive that you can get naturally if you still touch it so there's no uh there's like a texture pack running around that's like somebody data mined this and it looks like a waxy end stone block which is supposed to be like bee wax, beeswax or something but I don't know, like, if that block is not amazing in some way, looking or functional, I just don't see all the effort, reason to have all the effort to do bees, other than making your farm look cool. Because, I mean, you got to admit, this makes a farm look a lot more amazing. Like, especially if you had some good flower arrangements to make it aesthetically pleasing. It could be really cool. And plus, who wouldn't want a pet bee? I mean, seriously, you can put a leash on it and everything. Aren't they just too cute? Especially the babies, and the babies still work, like they still get pollen and everything, so I, I mean, it's kind of funny. But yeah guys, this is going to be just the guy signing off. This isn't necessarily the most informative video out there, but I was just trying it out, and I wanted to show you my thoughts. So catch you guys later. Bye.